Hey guys, it's me, Badfish. As always, this is Gone Gaming, and welcome back to San Pedro once again. So, today in San Pedro, what we're going to be doing, um, what I wanted to do was that little town that we had made, I had mentioned this, I wanted to create a cool little, little truck stop, um, throw that in here, because this is kind of at the convalescence of a, or the confluence, excuse me, of a few different, um, highway systems and there is going to be eventually an airport and obviously we already have the power station the water station so some industrial areas in between all this so i thought it makes sense to just have a little rest area slash truck stop um you know all of those commercial trucks slash industrial trucks going back and forth a uh, place for them to rest off in the middle of the night so just kind of threw this down um it's pretty basic but i think it ended up looking really nice actually once we uh, you know finished it up by the end here so um, basically as far as any American would know with our truck stops uh, there's usually like a gas station definitely typically like a McDonald's a Burger King something along those lines some sort of fast food uh, the car wash not so much but I just thought it looked cool um, and then there's usually like these little visitor centers and public restrooms so I just tried to add all those different elements in little ways. Um, I think it ended up looking nice. So right here you can see me kind of fleshing out the visitor center. This is actually going to completely move to the other side. I just felt it was a little too tight here to have it. Um, I think it didn't really make sense to have it placed right near all the commercial stuff. So I did move that down. Um, and then of course just adding the little details as far as parking lots and things of that nature go so I think again like I said it ended up it's pretty simple but I think it does the job and I think that's a lesson I'm learning as I'm doing some of these detailed things um, you know even if it is simple as long as it it makes sense with what you're doing it can look really nice and it can make a big big difference um, in your city you know a lot of people play the game where you're just painting the map with um, you know residential commercial industrial and just letting things grow and that's an awesome way to play the game that's how i played the game 90 percent of the time i've played it um but you know i think what i've kind of realized is doing something along these lines that if you just have these like certain little areas that have more than average detail you know kind of these bigger chunks so like a power station like a big parking lot slash commercial center shopping center um, it just helps tie the rest of everything in together and it doesn't need to be hyper detailed but as long as it is detailed it can just look really nice um, and it's all about just taking your time with it too like i'm not necessarily crazy with how this turned out but I think for a first attempt at a truck stop, it ended up looking really good. I think it ended up um, looking believable, which is really the goal, is just to make things believable, honestly. So I'm adding in some trucks here. Um, some of them still got their trailers on. What I did want to do is actually have an area for the cargo. So um, in my head cannon, maybe there was a little shipping company uh, that kind of set up shop at this uh, truck stop to help with kind of the um, back and forth of goods. So I do make a little cargo area. I know I've made a cargo area in pretty much every episode of San Pedro so far. Turns out, I guess I love cargo areas, um, but also I've been doing a lot of industrial stuff to begin. So. Um, Hopefully the next episode won't have a cargo area, although it probably will. Um, I'm going to talk about this a little later on, but I think in the next episode we're going to start working on uh, a bigger city center because we do need some population. As we see right now, we're only we're not even at 300. Yeah, so I think it's time to start making this into more of an actual city. So kind of moving out from the countryside more into uh, some of the urban areas. We're going to start fleshing those out a little bit. Um, so here is where I'm going to put in that, that little cargo yard I just mentioned. I didn't want to do anything gigantic, but I think it ended up looking pretty good. Um, at the end here, I'll also put like a little little office to kind of make it seem more like a, a actual business than just like random cargo placed with a crane. But again, it's just a little detail that you can add. Um, 
you know, not all truck stops have cargo yards, but I definitely have seen a fair bit on the highways and stuff that do. Uh, so it's definitely a believable aspect to put in there. Um, and I think it ended up looking looking pretty good. So I'm just throwing down some, some different cargo boxes. I did put some different decals under them as far as the damage to the concrete goes. Uh, my idea process behind that was you know, they're having tons and tons of cargo sitting on it all the time. It's going to break away the concrete, start chipping it, you know, maybe some, when they place things down, they go down a little bit harder than they should, starts cracking the concrete. So that's why I put all that damage there. And then again, just fleshing out this visitor center. Um, I wanted it to look a little more um, landscaped than the rest of the area just because you know these visitor centers at least up here in the the northeast they do have some greenery to them um, especially these little sitting areas that they'll put they'll put some bushes and stuff again where this is a desert arid map i didn't want to overdo it with the greenery so i just tried to keep it pretty simple have it in that little corner and then i do put some trees and stuff at the front just to make it look a little more appealing to the eye um, and I put the visitor center over here because this is going to be where more of the traditional civilian parking is rather than the actual truck stop. So I wanted, you know, the, the tourism traffic, the civilian traffic to have this little rest area to go into and then have more of the commercial stuff pushed towards where the trucks are parking. I think that just made, made sense for me. Um, as far as the, the exit into here, I will be changing that later on. Um, even the design that I end up with at the end of this episode, that's subject to change too. I want to look more at how things connect to national roads, if they do just do a straight intersection or if they do have actual off ramps. Um, so I'm going to do a little more research there to see what will be more believable. Um, I think what we ended up with looked good but I'm just not sure if it is, like I said, uh, realistic. So I'm gonna look more into that and probably change it. Um, right now, as you'll see on screen, I'm just placing down some cameras to add a little security. Uh, and then, you know, just these little planters with bushes to add just a little extra um, pop to the area, a little more realism. And then I do throw down some more grass, which I totally overdo. Um, but I will go in and fix that later. I don't know what I was trying to do with the exit there. I think I just liked making it a wave, but it goes right back. So, like I said, the greenery right here, you're gonna see me throw down way too much, and then I will go through and kind of sparse it out a little bit more, um, because I realize, again, this is a desert. There isn't going to be giant green rolling fields. It just doesn't work that way. And then just finishing up with some cars, some more um, parking. And right here, this is where I'm gonna kind of throw in the little little office for the commercial shipping area. Um, takes me a couple tries to find something that works, but we do find something that I think looked pretty good at the end here. Um, I actually went with like an industrial building. It's like this little garage I've gotten off the workshop. And yeah, I think it ends up looking pretty nice um, and flows well with the rest of the stuff around it. So it's this little garage here. Um, I don't keep it in that area. I actually put it back here kitty corner to the actual um, gas station, but I think it ends up looking pretty good. So that's going to just about do it for this time lapse, guys. We're going to jump into a live section just to kind of um, flesh out the town a little bit more. So I will see you there. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that first time lapse there, um, building the truck stop. I think it came out pretty good. Um, you know, it's not hyper detailed, but I think it looks nice for what it is. So what I want to do now, um, as I was building the truck stop, I realized I just don't think the way this town l is laid out is going to work out for what I'm looking to do. So I want to just kind of have the main road actually connect directly into the truck stop. I think that'll look a little bit better rather than having this like kind of weird jut out down here. So in this live section, I'm just going to go through and delete a few of the things. Um, I'm going to leave the municipal center, the fire truck or the firehouse and the police house there for now. 
But other than that, we're just going to get rid of all that commercial I laid down. Um, looking back at it too, I think for how many people live here, uh, I did put down way too much commercial stuff. So I'm going to do a lot less this time, considering we already have a little bit of commercial down here with the truck stop. So we're going to go ahead and just delete these roads up. And then take care of a couple of these guys. We're actually going to get rid of the motel sign because there is not a motel now. And delete those so there's not a fence going through the road. And just direct it straight up. Great. So that looks good. So we are going to do another time lapse in this episode of just kind of detailing the town itself. Um, but while I have you guys here in the live mode, I did want to go ahead and just plop down a couple things for this town center. So there's a couple of these, this little like shopping center that I think looks really good for like this kind of town. It's a little run down looking. Um, so a little food market, wine and liquor, and then like a wing stop. So I think that looks nice. Um, so it's just like a little little bit of municipal or a little bit of commercial right there kind of fits in. Um, I do need to bring this over just a touch just so it kind of moves into each other. That's better. Let's see how that looks. Move that just a little bit more. Awesome. Great, so that looks good. And then I was also thinking of putting a churchyard down here, just like a regular little um, cemetery. Again, my head canon was that this used to be like a mining town with the uh, the mine used to be over here where the power station is. So maybe this is like a holdover from um, the old mining town. You know, this is an older looking church. We can kind of just have it have it thrown in there. A lot of small towns will have very prominent churchyards a lot. And then the last thing I want to put down is um, maybe just another piece of commercial there. Maybe like a bank. Banks are everywhere, um, especially in small towns. So we'll just throw that little PNC bank. I'll kind of ding it up a little bit so it fits the, the motif a little bit more. But there's kind of like a small little town center. Um, these will probably move at some point as well. In fact, I'll just move them now, and we're gonna we're gonna put in an elementary school again. But I just wanted to have a little change to the town center before we jump into the second time lapse. So I think, as far as the plan of attack for the time lapse, I want to fix this. I want to make this look much better because that's obviously just a very plain intersection. So I want to make that look better. Um, I actually don't hate the way this is laid out now because it doesn't look so much like a normal grid now that we kind of have this running through it. So I might um, kind of leave the roads the way they are, but I want to change up the houses a little bit, add a little bit more detail. So we're going to jump into that time lapse and I will uh, talk to you guys there. So like I said in the last time lapse, I wanted to make this uh, intersection look a little bit more believable. I think this ends up looking okay for the finished product. Again, I might just take it out completely. Let me know what you guys think. You know, for a national road, what kind of intersections do you do? Do you have involved intersections or do you just have it, you know, do a 90 degree? Let me know. Um, so just doing a little bit of traffic manager here to fix it up. So as far as this town goes, there wasn't a whole lot of detailing I could do um, simply because it is supposed to be like a low income small town. I think by the end we end up just having like 300 residents and they're all in these small little little um, like trailer homes slash like double wides, things like that. So there wasn't a ton of detailing I could really do. Um, I tried to do as much as I could just to make it a little bit different, but I honestly, I didn't want to get hung up on this little, little town. I think we got some cool projects coming up. Um, so I just threw down a couple of things, made like a little, little shopping center out of that, like food market, the wine and spirits and things, and then just a restaurant and a bank. I feel like those are, you know, pretty pretty standard for small towns you know you're gonna especially the the bank i think for some reason whenever i drive into these like small towns up here in new england 
it's like they have a grocery which like makes sense people need food and then there's always some local branch of some giant bank and it's like you know not that many people live here you know why, why is there you know this branch of this major bank out here but there always is so i decided to throw one in myself um and i think you know it, it worked out added a little more commercial to this area um and then like i said in the the live play that churchyard i ended up liking having that as a focal point i think it uh definitely adds to my my head canon story of the mining town where that might have been like the main building you know that was your community center back in the day um definitely back in the west coast in the 1800s and things you know your your church was your community center is where people went to congregate and it was always very prominently featured so i like that it still is um i think it adds a lot to that that story going on in my head <laughs> So I did throw down this baseball field to add something else, and then I was like, wow, that baseball field's way too nice for this area. So just put down a little park, um, and then again, just fixing up the houses. I really didn't like how I had them placed out. Um, I wanted a little more sporadic and a little more, um, you know, I wanted to make it look like it was a little neighborhood on each road. So I tried to just place them, you know, kind of staggered. So it's less dense but also the roads themselves i feel like look more uniform if that makes sense i don't know uh, it just seemed less random to me and we actually end up with a higher population um than we had before um, which is good because i think we were having some of those those worker blips come up i am using no abandonment but i know sometimes it can still get abandoned um but I think having that bit of population where we really don't have that many commercial yet will be good. Um, but the next episode, I did want to talk a little bit about that now that I'm, you know, mentioning population. Um, obviously, 300 people is very low. So I want to start, I want to build one of our first big population centers. Um, I want to do something more dense, more high density. So. In the last episode, if you remember me looking at the map, on the left side I wanted to make a small port town kind of across from the major city. So like a small city on the other side of the map. I think I want to start with that. I don't want to jump right into the, the main cities themselves. I want, to, I want to up my skills, honestly, before I get to that point. I think uh, I, want to, I want to learn a little bit more of high density layouts and road systems and then definitely look a little bit more at some more experienced um, people on YouTube and just kind of what they do for those different areas um, because my my road skills at least I feel like aren't aren't there yet so I want to just start with uh, an easier bit of a high density city area um, and get that built out so I think that's going to be our next episode is going to be traveling across the, the bay and looking at that um, so if you guys like that idea, definitely let me know if you have any ideas of like what things you want to see incorporated in the small port city. Uh, definitely let me know that as well. Um, you know, I got some ideas of what I want to put in there, but I love hearing from others and seeing what kind of stuff you guys can come up with. I think that's one of the beautiful parts of this game is, you know, you just get so many people who live in different places that see different things that come together with some really awesome ideas. Um, so right now on screen, I'm just doing a little bit of light detailing here, just going through, putting in like mailboxes, a couple fences. I do put in some more like vegetation, kind of haphazardly. Again, these are just such small plots, and since it is low income, like there's not gonna be a ton of stuff with each house. Um, you know, they're not going to have like these big elaborate yards and things. So I just threw down some props, um, you know, a couple umbrellas, hedges. Um, I think like I put down like a broken car in one of them. So maybe this guy's working on that old car. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Uh, and then just, you know, a couple trees just to kind of flesh out the plots a little bit more. But all in all, I mean, for what it is, I think it looks nice. And I think it looks as detailed as I could really make it when I was making this video because I was filming this part at like 1am last night so you know it turned out the way it turned out um this isn't going to be a focal point of the map it, it just is right now because this is where we're starting so I didn't want to um, kill myself on this area 
when there's definitely other areas to focus on. But all in all, you know, I think it did help just to add these little details here and there and make them just a little bit different and make a couple of them have these kind of boxed out yards and things like that. Um, again, for like a low density area, just like adding fences and adding a couple props here and there can really make a world of difference. Um, but as far as the town itself, I think it I think it ended up looking good. I think we kind of kept the theme of the you know low income kind of factory town going, and I think it uh, ended up looking really good by the end. So we're gonna be finishing up this time lapse here in a minute, and then jumping into cinematics of both the truck stop and the town. Um, definitely let me know what you think of the final designs. If you have any other things that you might have added to similar projects, I'd definitely like to hear about that. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I think it ended up looking pretty good for a small town in the middle of nowhere, as good as it can. It's funny, I always ask my fiance, like, does it look good? And she's like, I mean, it looks real. I wouldn't say it's pretty, which, you know, fair. But to finish things off, guys, we are just going to jump into a quick little cinematic of what we built today. So enjoy that. I'll see you in the next one. And that's going to just about do it for this episode of Gone Gaming, guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, please leave a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more content like that, please consider subscribing. Hope everyone stays safe. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next episode.